Day 1, June 2025. In just 57 minutes, Ukraine obliterated five Russian airbases. Dozens of strategic aircraft, 295 Bears, Tuesday 22 M3 backfires, a 50 mainstay stern to scrap, and the weapon? Not a million dollar tomahawk, not a stealth fighter, but drones costing as little as $430. When the Pentagon saw this, they had to ask, are we pouring $1 trillion into the F-35 for a war that's already outdated? Stay tuned, because this story will blow your mind. Today, we're diving into Ukraine's game-changing drone strike and why it's forcing the world to rethink air warfare. Ukraine may not have F-22 Raptors or Su-57 stealth fighters, but they wield a sharper weapon, asymmetric ingenuity. On the 1st of June, 2025, their audacious spider web operation struck a devastating blow, annihilating at least 13 of Russia's prized strategic aircraft, including Tuesday 95 milliseconds bear bombers, Tuesday 22 M3 backfire supersonic jets, and a 50 mainstay radar planes. How did they pull it off? With 117 FPV drive ones, each costing just $430 cheaper than a high-end smartphone. Launched from camouflage trucks, these drones flew low, skimming 3 to 15 meters above the ground to evade Russia's radar networks. Their targets weren't just the planes, they surgically struck critical infrastructure radar arrays, fuel depots, and command posts paralyzing Russia's airbase operations. The result? A stunning 89% success rate. Russia lost billions in military assets, while Ukraine spent mere pocket change. This wasn't brute force, it was a masterclass in outsmarting a superpower. The Tuesday 95 milliseconds, a nuclear-capable bomber. The Tuesday 22 M3, a Mach 2 strike platform, and the A-50, Russia's airborne command center, are the backbone of Moscow's air power. Their destruction exposed vulnerabilities in Russia's defenses and showcased Ukraine's revolutionary approach. How can $430 drones outmaneuver billion-dollar systems? What makes these aircraft so vital to Russia's strategy? Let's dive deeper and break it down. Let's dive into the heavy hitters Ukraine took out. First up, the Tuesday 95 milliseconds, Russia's iconic bear bomber. This Cold War Titan, priced at $50 million each, is powered by Kuznetsov NK-12 turboprop engines, enabling a staggering 15 kilometer range without refueling. It carries 8 Kilo-101 or Ki-102 cruise missiles capable of striking 5,500 kilometers away with conventional or nuclear warheads. Its mission? Deliver devastating long-range strikes without ever entering enemy airspace. Satellite imagery from Umbra confirms at least three were obliterated at Balea Air Base. With only about 60 remaining and no new ones in production, this loss guts Russia's strategic bombing capability. But the damage doesn't stop there. Next, the Tuesday 22M3 backfire, a supersonic beast hitting Mach 2, valued at $100 million per jet. It packs three KH-22 missiles with a 6.00 km or range, or 10 tons of precision-guided bombs, designed to blitz critical targets like military bases or warships, Ukraine destroyed at least one at Balea, leaving Russia with roughly 60. This weakens Moscow's ability to execute rapid, high-impact strikes. But here's the real shocker. The A-50. The A-50 mainstay, a $400 million airborne early warning and control platform, is Russia's eye in the sky. Its Schmel M radar tracks 150 targets up to 650 kilometers away orchestrating airstrikes and guiding missiles. Reports on X indicate Ukraine's $430 FPV drive ones took out at least one. With only seven to nine left, each loss devastates Russia's battlefield coordination. How did $430 drones crush billion-dollar assets? Let's unravel the game-changer! 
Russia's S-400 and Pantsir systems are cutting-edge, built to counter large targets like fighter jets or missiles with radar signatures above 0.1 square meters. But Ukraine's FPV drones? They're tiny. With signatures of just 0.001 to 0.01 square meters, like birds, flying low at 3 to 15 meters, they slip into radar dead zones appearing for only three to four seconds faster than human reaction times of six to eight seconds. When 117 drones swarm from multiple directions, Russia's radars overload and AI systems can't keep up. The economic mismatch is brutal. A single Pantsir missile costs $120,000 to down a $430 Dronian unsustainable trade-off. Ukraine didn't need high-cost weapons, they overwhelmed Russia's defenses with sheer numbers and cunning tactics. Ukraine exposed a fatal flaw. Even the most advanced air defenses are powerless against swarms of cheap drones. How did $430 drones outmatch billion-dollar systems? The secret lies in this brilliant strategy. The F-35 Lightning II is a technological marvel, a pinnacle of modern engineering. Its stealth capability boasts a radar signature below 0.005 square meters, making it nearly invisible to enemy defenses. The AESA radar detects targets up to 200 kilometers away, while its 360-degree sensor fusion integrates data seamlessly for unmatched situational awareness. This jet is a beast in conventional air combat designed to dominate peer-level dogfights with precision and power. But here's the catch. Ukraine's spider web operation revealed a game-changing truth. A $1.430 FPV Drive 1 can achieve what an F-35 requires $50 million in fuel and munitions to accomplish. Ukraine's success with low-cost drones exposed a critical flaw. 70% of modern conflicts are asymmetric where swarms of cheap drones reign supreme, not expensive stealth fighters. The Pentagon's staggering $1 trillion investment in the F-35 program is now under scrutiny. Is this jet, optimized for high-tech dogfights, suited for a future where agile, disposable drones dominate the battlefield? Consider the math. $1 billion buys just eight F-35S each costing $120 million or 2,000 000 drones at $430 each. In a world of swarm warfare, where numbers often trump sophistication, the choice seems stark. Ukraine's drone tactics have forced a reckoning, challenging the U.S. to rethink its reliance on costly platforms. Can the F-35 adapt to this new era of warfare, or is it a relic of a bygone strategy? So, what's your call, 8 F-35S or 2 million drones? PUS isn't standing still. The F-47 Next Generation Air Dominance Program is reshaping the battlefield. Unlike an F-35 2.0, the F-47 is a command hub for drone swarms. Positioned 200 kilometers from danger, one F-47 controls, four to six loyal wingman drive, ones Lose a drone? That's $3 million. Lose an F-35? That's $120 million, plus a priceless pilot. This shift prioritizes smart, networked warfare over costly platforms. Meanwhile, China's racing ahead. Their Jutian mothership UAV, with a 40-meter wingspan, carries over 100 drones across 2,000 kilometers. The Type 076 drone carrier launches 30 large UAVs using electromagnetic catapults. With DJI commanding 70% of the global drone market, China can weaponize civilian tech at one-fifth the cost of Western drones. In a conflict, the U.S. could face 10,000 drones at once, a swarm no single platform can counter. Even the mighty F-35, with its stealth and firepower, can't handle this saturation. The future of air superiority hinges on mastering swarm versus swarm combat, where numbers and AI trump traditional jets. America's adapting, but China's scale is daunting. 
Who will lead the next era of air warfare? This is the biggest turning point in air warfare since World War II. Ukraine's David vs. Goliath moment proves smarts beat strength, numbers beat quality. The U.S. is adapting, integrating F-35S with drone swarms. China's betting on scale and AI. The new paradigm? Networked warfare, not platform-centric. In 10 years, Air superiority will belong to whoever masters swarm versus swarm combat, not who has the most F-35S. Ukraine rewrote the rulebook. The F-35 is still a marvel, but it might be a marvel of the past. The future belongs to those who adapt fastest. Smarts over strength. Numbers over quality. Adaptation over perfection. What do you think can the F-35 keep up? Will China or the US lead the drone race? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more cutting-edge defense analysis.